Welcome to Pickleball Journey. Today I've got my good buddy Chesco here. Chesco is about a 3-5, would you say? 3-5, 4-0 player? I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say about a 3-5 player. Um, and so today I'm going to give him a, a short 15-20 minute lesson. Uh, and so we'll see what tips uh, and things that he can improve on. So let's jump right in. So just do some backhand cross court dinks here. Here we go. All right. That's good. Good. Now, one of the things I noticed right away, Chesco, sometimes on that slice, mm -hmm. you're you're really coming through it and chopping at it a lot. You're coming through like this versus really just nice and soft. You're kind of you should kind of carry the ball. Okay. Like this here. So like Stretch. just come, almost come like coming up with it. Yeah, coming up with it a little bit more. Leading, think about leading with your knuckles too. Versus you're not wanting to use wrist at all, okay. but you're leading with your knuckles a little bit and, and kind of carrying it, lifting it up. Got it's it, better. okay. And it's just a nice, soft, you're not not hitting a lot of slice on it, but you're really just picking the ball up with your paddle. That's good. Yeah, that's better. Is that better? Okay. <clears throat> all right, same thing here. Cross court forehands. Good. Try to hit a couple here where you're not putting spin on it. Okay. So think about, you're actually trying to take some spin off, but you're still coming through. There you go. Don't stop the paddle. Right now, you're sort of stopping the paddle right here. Okay. You take a look. You're going like this. I still want you to follow through all the way. Okay, so all the way through. Yeah. And less of a less of a big swing on that. Okay. You know how in tennis, you're, you're wanting to maybe do a wind up. Here it's, you're just back here, coming through. Okay. So straight back, and then all the way through on that forehand. Good. Oh, sorry about that. Here we go. Good. Straight back, and then through. Good. And now same thing with that forehand. Work on sitting on the line and doing those reaches good. As much as you can take the ball out of the air, takes time away from your opponents. Good. Nice. Really good. And now notice on those, your take back is very short. If, if hardly any take back at all. Good. Those are good. Nice. Good, much better. These videos are helpful to you like they are to me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now we're going to hit some uh, ground stroke third shot drop. So I'm just going to take a look at Chesco, uh, forehand and backhand here. Good. That's good. Nice. Good. Now Justin, am I trying to be lifting it with like, or do you want do you want it like back? No, spin yeah, on? that's a good question. I like what you're doing, where you're kind of just pushing through it. Okay. Versus you're not chopping at the ball too much which I think when I first seen you play a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago, you were chopping at these, so that's much better. Because I watch you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that's good. Nice. Yep, so you're just placing that ball so right at the feet. Good. Again, what I like that you're doing, you're not chopping too much. So that's a, that's a big difference from what I see a lot of players at your level. They're maybe trying to hit too much slice on that ball versus just placing it right at my feet. Okay. Let's do some forehands now and take a look at the forehand. Good. 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 So high. Good. Nice. Now one thing too on these third shot drops, Make sure your weight is always shifted forward. Okay. Sometimes I see you get caught with your weight shifted back, and that's why you're missing those in the net. Transfer the weight forward. Good, yep. The thing that will help with also is getting into the kitchen. So if you if your weight is shifting forward, you hit a good one, then you're automatically moving towards the kitchen on that. Okay. One movement goes into the next. Yep. Nice, it's really good. Nice. Yep, you're good. Good get, good cover. 
Good. Good. All right. So one thing with Chesco, you'll notice he's he's got really good footwork. He's a young guy, but uh, whether you're 50, 65, even 80, you can always improve your footwork, uh, taking smaller steps, more steps to be be ready wherever the ball's bouncing. Any thoughts on some of those tips you had, Chesco? Yeah, I think uh, just keeping my like my momentum going forward yeah. is a big help, and just chopping less. Yeah. Yeah, I'm used to doing that, so just making sure that I push through the ball. Thank you.